Hi, as in the previous videos, we have already seen the introduction and how to start the basic implementation of HTML. Now it's time to get more familiar with the HTML. So in this video, we are going to discuss few more tags which will make you comfortable with the HTML and apart from that, you will also know what different options are available with you in HTML. So let's discuss about the basic tags in HTML now. So now here I'll start the basic tags with the heading tags. So for that here, as I said, I have six level of heading tags starting from H1, which is the biggest in size. You can carry on with the remaining ones that is H2 is still H6. All right. So what I'll do, I'll just say this is heading one. All right, so let's come to the browser where I have already opened it and as soon as I will refresh you can see this is heading one. Now I can continue with the others. All right. So we'll do required changes. So now as here you can see I have used all the six tags that is from H1 to H6 with the different text. So as soon as I will save the document, I'll refresh it here. You can see the different size of headings are now available over your browser. If you want to align them all in the center, what you can do, you can just put the center tag. So I will put the center from the end the beginning and will close at the end. So I have actually enclosed all the six headings inside it. So all will be aligned center now like this all right if you want to make it alignment right in coming videos we'll start working with the attributes which will help us out in aligning of by putting more attributes to any tag but for now i'll just only go for the headings as here you can see all the different headings are appearing in the different line but if i'll put the different text for example if i'm writing a very basic text a paragraph so for paragraph i will use a p tag and after that i can start writing whatever i want so let me first remove these tags to make the output more clear and inside this i will put a paragraph tag Again, I'll close it at the end and be between that, I will write all the text. So this is a new paragraph. All right, you can write as much as you want inside this. But now, if I want to put the next line in the another line means, let's say, this is next line. So you can see, all the things are there in the same line all right but if i want to break the line from here what i can do is i can put the br tag so basically this br is a single tag means it is not a pair tag because i don't want to write anything between the opening and closing tags of br so what i can do is i can actually close it immediately even if you will not close it, it will not going to show you any error. But technically, whichever tag is open has to be closed. So here, I will make it a no empty tag means a non pair tag, and I will close it immediately. So now when I refresh, you can see it has broken the line. Similarly, if you want to put some more spaces between any words for example by default when i'm giving a single space it is showing a single space out here as well but in case if i'll give some space to this some more spaces they will not be reflected all right so for giving the extra spaces what i can do is i can use and ampersand nbsp that will be equivalent to the half space so now i'll copy paste that for giving multiple spaces and as soon as I'll come here and refresh you can see there are some spaces between these two words. Now similarly if I want to put some formatting inside means pre-formatting in my web page that is not possible by default so that's for example if I want to draw this particular pattern 
All right, so I want that these asterisk, these stars should be displayed over the web page like this. But when I will refresh here, you can see all are coming again in a same line because only one space will be shown between these asterisk. All right. So if I want to display all these things as it is or wherever I want the output that is that should be as it is as you have designed it here I will go for the pre-formatted tag that is this pre tag so whatever formatting you will do inside this whatever you will write in between these tags they will be displayed as it is alright as here you can see now the output and this particular pattern is exactly the same now let's take one more scenario as I have already gone through the heading tag here I'm using the h2 so maybe this is the heading of my page and after that I want to start a paragraph related to this all right so this is paragraph one all right so obviously it will be looking like this now I want to draw a line between the heading and the paragraph to mark it as a separator. So for that, what I can do, I can use the HR tag. It will draw the horizontal line in my web page like this. All right. So if you want to alter the size of this particular HR, I will do that with the help of the attributes but here I'm not going to cover the attributes here we are just going through some basic tags so this is the HR tag which will draw the horizontal line in your web page so these are all some basic tags using which you can start writing some basic HTMLs in our coming video we are going to cover some more fantastic features of HTML